Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. Welcome to the back with another excited video tutorial. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create this volcano inside this Anima 4D by using Terraform 4D. So if you don't know what is Terraform 4D, it's a new plugin uh, released by X Particle uh, and CDM. So if you don't know about NCDM, it's the same company which is released X Particle. So as you can see here, it's hundred percent. 100% procedural so you can change it whenever you want so as you can see here so as you can see it's hundred percent procedure so let me show you how we can do that so first of all I will show you so so this is a terraform uh, so it's by NCDM so it's not uh, recently released uh, released but you can download it uh, previous version from nullpk.com so i mentioned the link under description or you can buy it from ncdm so let's set our how we can do that so let's close it so we just create a new project file and in extension here you find terraform i already take it out so we just first create click on try and ob uh, icon so as you can see here we got simple plane so now what we can do here go in objects and uh, so first we it's a uh, same like uh, x particle if you use x particle so it's same work like x particle so there is a generators and filter so first we uh, generate a generator so we add a gradient generator so as you can see when you click here you get this so we just make a little bit bigger like that okay next thing we add a noise generator for our uh, train so we just simply click on noise as you can see here they give you really good look so we click on noise now go back in our noise tab and change noise type from turbulence to wavy turbulence so as you can see here it's already looking good so but we just only need this noise for our this volcano uh, mountain so what we can do here we go in masking and unable altitude so when we click here so as you can see here so you have full control on your train so what we can we just need like that and we just make it smooth so as you can see here we only get our noise on our this part so on our volcano part so go back in properties and change play with some seeding like that we find the best so that's looking okay for me but add more octave okay so that's okay okay no change a little bit more that's looking okay for me now we rename it by wall can no noise so now we go back in our train a uh, tab and j add one more noise generator so as you can see here why we uh, when we do that they add all over your trine again and other noise so we just rename it for our base noise or uh, whatever you want so now we change our noise drive from noise drive from turbulence to wavy turbulence because it's give you really good trine look so we just decrease the scale like 60 percent or that's looking okay for me so what we want now we don't want our this noise on our do here we click on masking and go in fields and uh, and we add a slender field so as you can see here but what we want is invert of this so how we can do that let me show you so okay click on your field slender field go in remapping tab and here you find an invert button so as you can see here when do that now your noise only affect those areas which is outside this slender field so 
so let me show you why I like as you can see here what I mean so so now we make it little bit smoother so what we can do here we change our contour to none to curve as you can see here it gives them smooth look but we want a little bit like that so that's looking okay now we change little changing in our noise so what we can do here is look too heavy for me so we like to 30 so we just take it 30 and 60 like that's looking great so now next thing and uh, next and last thing what we need to do here we need to add a hole on top of the mountain like you see on volcano so what we can do here we can simply go on filters and add a fold filter as you can see here they make a hole inside on your trine so what we can do we just do little changing with levels go in properties so change level from one, uh, 25 to 150 so as you can see here so your volcano is almost ready so we just change a little bit so now we just add some texture to our volcano and we just increase the quality by increasing the segment just change it to 1200 by 1200 so as you can see here it look really amazing so what we can do here we just add give them little thickness to our trine so click on solid in trine layer here we go that's looking awesome so now we create a floor and we create a simple ice texture for our trine so create it like that create it like that we just give them a white color little bit bluish and add a luminance for adding a subsurface scattering so effect subsurface scattering go back in our like this there we go now we add a sky sky and give it texture uh, i use hdri material for our sky from grayscale crayla uh, HDRI studio extension so here we have some cloudy city let's use this one for that now enable the global illumination so okay medium now if we hit render so let's okay. so. so as you can see here it's now look as good we want so what we can do here we just add little bump map we just add simple noise so we just add a bump we just simply use a noise cinema 4d noise so just change the scale from uh, global scale from 100 to 1 and go in our you can use any texture you want but I'm just using a simple try to create a snow texture so we just change it to a, to a cubic like 0.5.5 so now next thing we add a sunlight uh, we create a point light for use it as a sun so because we need to use it for our subsurface scattering so let's try to render okay. good but we need to add some shadows so we just take our light a little bit far and 
change this its color from like uh, yellowish color like sun color and add shadow so we use area light area shadow so try to relax so here we go so that's the simple example of creating wall can you can use different kind uh, kind of materials you can add a uh, grass on your trine trees anything you want so let's do last we just a uh, little refractance remove reflection dielectric and uh, change it to a snow there is no snow i can like not too much shiny like that now we just in the preview level render it again so here are we so here we go as you can see here now it's look really awesome so i hope you like this video if you like this video subscribe my channel if you want more video uh, about cinema 4d or blender or any 3d software so let me know just comment below so thanks for watching bye bye